Are you almost ready to guess who the secret reader is? Got your paper ready? Here, come here. I like her face mask. Oh, it's lemon, so it's pretty. <laughs> Why are we unmuted? Okay, guys, we are going to get started. I see some people coming on still, but if you guys can guess, who do you think the secret reader is for today? Miss McKenna. Let's see. Oh, Gabby, that's a nice sign. I like that. Can we have our secret reader? Do I get a drum roll? Drum roll, please, everybody. <laughs> Yay! It was the coffee, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Oh, I'm today. Hi, Missy. We're so excited you're here today. I'm so excited to see all these faces. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Oh, my goodness. I see so many of you. It's so nice. Sienna, Esteban. Wow. All right, you guys ready to hear a story? Let her see you. Yeah, let her see you. She's missed you. <laughs> All right. So, no? okay. I brought a book with me today. Aww. And this is one of my favorite books. And the pictures in it are so beautiful. So, I'm going to try to hold it really close so everyone can see. I'm going to move my coffee out of the way before I spill it. Um, <laughs> so, everyone can see all the pictures. So, the book is called Orion and the Dark. And it's written by Emma Yarlett. Ryan and the Dark. Okay. My name is Orion, and I guess you could say I'm scared of a lot of things. Mom tells me I just have a big imagination and there's nothing to be frightened of. Well, that's easy for her to say. As far as I can see, the world is full of frightening things wasps, bicycles, the ocean, closets, girls, dogs, especially the big ones, popping balloons, space, grandma, Ooh. heights, monsters, spiders, storms. But there is one thing that scares me more than anything. The dark. Of course, I've tried all kinds of things to solve the problem. Hiding from the dark, avoiding the dark, improving my night vision, hmm, eating lots of carrots, capturing the sun, keeping pet glow worms, inventing the everlasting light bulb, dressing up as an owl because everyone knows that owls can see in the dark. Staging a protest, <laughs> no dark allowed here. Uh, painting my room with glow in the dark paint and inventing night vision goggles, but nothing ever works. And before I know it, it's bedtime again. Orion is, sounds like he's a little bit of an inventor. The night that changed everything began like any other night. I kept an eye out for monsters. 
I kept an ear out for scary noises, but it got darker and darker and darker, and I couldn't take it anymore. I've had enough of you, Dark. I wish you and your scary sound and your murky monsters and your pitch blackness would just, just go away. <laughs> Poor Orion. And that's when something strange happened. Shivering jellyfish. Outside of my window, the dark seemed to come alive. And it came inside of my room. I was feeling more scared than ever before. Even more than when I thought that dog, sh when, when I went to that dog show with grandma. But mom always says it's important to remember your manners, especially when you are greeting monsters, <laughs> visitors. So I said, hello, I'm Orion. And I put out my hand. Hello there, I'm the dark. Now, Orion, it's time for you to stop being so afraid of everything, especially me. Let's go on an adventure. Of course, normally I'd be scared stiff of going on an adventure, especially with a terrifying creature like dark but the dark wasn't quite what I had expected. First, he asked to see the shadowy and scary parts of the house, the so nooks and crannies where the monsters lived. Number one, the closet. Two, under the bed. Three, down the drain. And four, in the basement. The dark doesn't look anything like those scary guys. And you won't believe this, but some of the darkest places turned out to be the most fun. Even having fun couldn't stop me from being scared for long, though. What are all those horrible, creepy, scary sounds coming from? Whistle, tick tock, tick tock, tap, 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 hiss. Together, we bravely went outside to find the frightening sounds. And when we found them, they weren't that frightening at all. Somebody's snoring in their house, the whistle's blowing, the trees are creaking, there's oh. mice running around. The dark asked me if I had stopped feeling afraid. I said I felt a little better but there was still one place that made my knees wobble and my tummy twist with fright. The awful place where the dark is the darkest of all. And so we went. On one last adventure, all the way up into the night sky. There, in the darkest place of all, I realized the dark could be fun, and the dark could be interesting, and the dark could be magical. And most of all, the dark could be my friend. And nobody, oops, light went off my classroom. <laughs> and nobody, not even me, this could be scared of their best friend. There's the dark and Orion sitting on the moon. Too soon, we had to go home. As the sun began to climb back up into the sky, my friend began to fade. It was time to say goodbye. I've had such a super duper spiffadiliocious incredible adventure, but will you ever come back? 
I didn't want the dark to go. And so he promised I'll never be far away. And from that night on, he never was. The end. You guys like that story? I gotta walk around my classroom so my lights will go back on. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. You guys can unmute yourselves if you want to talk to Miss Lee. Hi, Miss Oak. Hi, is that Gabby? I can't see everyone's faces. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hi, Miss Oak. This is a, I need to tell something. Oh my goodness. Hey, Allison. I'm a sock. Hi. I'm a sock. Nana, I see Carmine. Sienna. Hi, Lou. Hi. Hi, Miss Lock. Hi, Mrs. Long. Hi. You guys give her a thumbs up. You like that story, right? That was a good story. Thumbs up. I miss it. Yeah. Miss Salk, that was a great story. Always like art projects with that. Miss Salk, that's a nice story. And you know what? What? I think everyone was a great listener. Yeah, you guys are great listeners. No. Mrs. Look. Mrs. Look. Yeah, who's talking? Me, Christopher. Oh, hey, Christopher. Um, are you going to be at the parade today? I am. That's why. Can you guys see him in my classroom right now? I put up my favorite painting behind me. <laughs> Wait, we have that painting. Second grade. That was on there too. No. It's going to be the last day of school, right? No. Who's going to do lots of artwork this summer, too? So. I am. I really do a lot of art. Seesaw every day because we have three days of special surprises. So you got to go on on Monday, Ooh. Tuesday, and All right. Put your thumbs up for that deal. Thumbs up. Let me see. Who's thumb is up? What about thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. If you guys are ready to make that deal, thumbs up. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Three special surprises. Okay? I think every day you'll have a little smile on your face. So it's good seeing you guys okay. today. If you come to the parade later, I'll see you outside, okay? Yeah. The parade's for the second grade uh, moving up. I love you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone, say thank you to Missy. E. Thank you. 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 Thank you.